Hey, what's going on YouTube? We are back with a, another review of how to do the current um, community challenge fights, the Enigmatic Assailant and the Exostars. I've gotten some questions on Facebook about how to you know, survive some of the damage on both of these. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to take a look at these with some NBA teams and some free unit teams. So we're gonna start with the Exostars um, and then we're gonna do Enigmatic Assailant. Um, uh, yeah, just to kind of get through this and have some fun. So here's Exostars, and the hardest level difficulty is right here. Difficulty 450, um, energy 30, you know, not too bad. And it tells you no continues, no items, and no more than five people, or four people, if you want to get all the missions in one run. Um, they tell us here, um, its weaknesses are fire and light, its bird, human, um, and... Um, yeah, it uses confusion, paralysis, uh, and uses lots of damage, like fixed damage. So that's that's the thing that a lot of people are getting caught up on is this fixed damage because like you take some fixed damage every turn, and if you don't have enough HP to recover it, uh, or HP to absorb it, or uh, recover from it, or like mitigations and things like that, it, it, it can catch up with you and kill you if you're not careful. So we're going to talk about how to get through that um, with a team. Um, so here's the team that we're going to be taking. It's going to be, um, you know, the newest tank, Charlotte, but she's totally free. Um, and then we've got two damage dealers, um, Kator and um, Reagan Dark Lineage, and then Ronda here for some mitigations and LB fill and stuff like that. Um, but this this setup's going to take care of us, so let's go ahead and take a look at their gear. Um, Charlotte just basically just geared for um, her spirit, um, and she's got, like, you know, some... Some guts, but we really don't need it. So just put on the spirit and HP. That's really all she really needs. Um, however you want to do it, she is wearing Wisdom of Hess and also Phoenix Energy just to give her some regen, so that when she does take some damage, she can recover part of that. However, she's also going to be our healer for this fight, um, so um, she will be doing some healing. So just make, make sure that she's just got you know um, HP and spirit, and you're going to be just fine. You know whatever vision card you got laying around. I I went ahead and used Sylvie's. Um, it is free. You can get it from like the card exchange. It's it's it's, it's a good card. So um, we're just sticking with that. And there's our Charlotte. She's gonna do no damage the entire fight. She's gonna be tanking and healing. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at Runda. Runda is just wearing you know some defensive stuff, some HP. Is wearing the Obsidian Bracer. This is very useful to auto break the boss. Um, the boss says every turn. That way they have uh, they're gonna do less damage to you. Um, also wearing, oh, it ha has um, immunity, so I mean, a piece of immunity gear, so discernment um, is going to give you immunity to all the stuff, um, and there you go. Actually, everybody's wearing something like that, so like Charlotte has on the ribbon, um, uh, Kator has on Edgar's Coin of Faith, and um, Reagan has discernment, so everybody has some sort of status immunity across the board. Um, here's Kator, so wearing two katanas that are one-handed. Um, and then just some generic gear, his own clothes, um, risers, crown hero, and like the coin of fate for the immunity. And then just some some demon and bird killer from Pure Soul Prayer, LB fill, LB damage, dual form, you know, whatever. So it's got um, true dual wield maxed out, human, uh, some some bird, demon and human killer, and then LB damage, and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, and then Reagan, uh, similarly, right? So just like two two good swords, his own sword. And uh, the Dark Vision Sword. If you don't have it, not the end of the world. Um, you know, just some L, some just some gear. So you know, it's not not too hard to fill this gear out, right? So um, again, the main main things here. We got some Bird Killer, some Demon, some Human, um, True Dual Wield, um, and then um, LB damage. Not even not even maxed out. You know, not it's it's okay. It's okay. Um, and then uh, free Vision cards. You know, so same thing with Kator. Free Vision cards. Right, so we're running really cheap gear here. So if you if you don't have some of this stuff, you can definitely put better things on. Um, we just kind of went bottom of the barrel, right? So um, there you go. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing done. So every fight is gonna take about three turns. Um, there are three fights, and so we're doing nine turns total, but it's an extremely safe uh, setup for how to do this. So let's take a look, and we will um, get this done. So we're gonna take some. The first of all, the boss is gonna get broken by the Obsidian Bracer right there. So we got the brakes on, and then we're preemptive covering physical and magical. Charlotte's gonna jump out in front and soak that fixed damage, but then she's gonna heal herself with the uh, the Phoenix Synergy. So we're all in good, we're very good shape here. We're doing just fine. So um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Runda go ahead and just do real cover. We're gonna use Runda Barrier. 
and then we're going to use Protect Go. There you go. And Charlotte is going to do something very similar. We're going to use Cover, and then she's going to use Healing Glory just to heal up anybody who needs it. Nobody really needs it right now, but if you did, you can do that. And then we're going to use Shelga. Okay. Reagan is going to use Fire Imbue, so Crimson Guide Blade, and then I'll Sever Fate with this Gun Blade, and then Sonic Octo Strike Blade. Katora is going to do um, Charging Magitek Cannon Fire, White Thunder Ready for Launch, and then Missile Launcher. And so those are going to chain. We're going to just chain them together, and they're going to do a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. There you go. Now, this time, Runda's going to take over and be doing some tanking. If you take too much damage here, you could gear Runda for um, evasion instead. That would be totally fine. But as you can see, Runda tanked it just fine. Um, Charlotte is going to just heal everybody up with three healing glories. There you go. Reagan is going to use LB and so is Kator. And we're just going to chain them up. There you go. And Runda's going to refill LBs and put up mitigations with Runda Scan. Although their SLBs are going to activate next turn, so they're going to get their LBs anyway. Um, here comes some dark damage that Charlotte's going to cover for us. And then some more fixed attacks that we're mitigated against now, so it doesn't really hurt that bad. And Reagan and um, Ator are just going to finish this off with their SLBs. We're going to save everybody else's action. There you go. On to the next one. Same thing happens again. You know, so pretty much the same exact rotation. Charlotte jumps out in front. Runda is going to do cover, barrier, protect. Protect -ka. Right, Charlotte's going to heal anybody who needs it. Cover and Shelga. Reagan's gonna fire imbue, sever fate, and sonic blade. Fire. Mod boost, basically. And missile launcher. Tool of the chain. There you go. Banishka. So we take a little bit of light damage, but you know, we're okay. There we go. LB time. Charlotte is going to cure us first. Alright, send the chainers. And Runda's gonna SLB. And then we're going to get our chaining SLBs next turn. Physical attacks that Runda totally soaks up. That's the power of mitigation. And here come the SLBs. Alright, on to the next one. Right, there goes Charlotte doing her thing. And we're just starting over, right? So it's just, you know, cover, barrier, protect, heal. Nope, not tanking. Heal, cover, Shelga, fire, mod boost, Octa Strike. Fire mod boost, Octa Strike. This one's a little tricky because this one does use paralysis on you. Um, this is where those status immunities come in, so we're wearing all the status immunities here for this reason right there. Send the LBs, the basic LBs. Alrighty. Anybody who needs it, we're going to heal up with Charlotte. And Runda can SLB.
And then we got our big boy SLBs on the next turn. There you go. SLBs online and finish it. And there's your, you know, three turns per boss. Very, very safe rotation using two tanks and two damage dealers. I'll show you the damage breakdown, uh, but I'll go ahead and tell you right now that Kator does a little bit more damage. A little bit more damage, you know. Reagan's hanging on there. And again, Kator and Reagan are free units, so you can go and get them from the, um, the Vortex if you need to using the keys, it's in the, they're in the Chamber of Seals. All right, uh, so the next one we're gonna do, uh, we'll go ahead and do Enigmatic Assailant. This is the fight against Dark Rain. Um, here we go. And this one's difficulty 500, um, so technically a little bit harder, although in my opinion, a lot easier. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And it's a uh, Demon Human Weak to Light. Um, they want you to reduce his HP to 50% or below. He uses dark attacks frequently, as in only. And it will use a powerful attack every set number of turns, but we're gonna do this pretty quickly. So we'll never see that powerful attack. No items, no KOs, no continues. Piece of cake. Um, and we're gonna be taking a slightly different team, only slightly, let me go ahead and load that up here. So the same damage dealers. Um, and then we've got uh, Elena here for some buffs and Dark and Veritas of the Dark for some uh, tanking basically. So Elena, just wearing a bunch of LB filling gear. That's all she's got in both forms. LB filling gear. There you go. Um, and then Veritas of the Dark. Just doing uh, Provoke gear. So he's got um, Durandal, Moogle Charm, Obsidian Bracer. Happens to have Light Breaker. If you don't have Light Breaker, it is not the end of the world. Um, this, this fight will work without it. Um, just bring somebody who can do a break. You've got a fifth party slot, so you can easily fit a real breaker in if you want to. Um, or just gear better or whatever. There's lots of ways you can do that. So if you don't have light breaker, that's fine. It's just an 85% break and a light imperil. Um, but uh, yeah, it's there. And the ne neat thing about uh, Veritas of the Dark is he automatically absorbs dark damage. So if you scroll down uh, to this, Dark Lord, if you fully awaken this ability, um, he, he converts dark damage received to HP restoration. Um, Actually, I don't even think you need to fully awaken it. I think he just does. Um, but that's this trait here, Dark Lord. He's gonna he's gonna absorb all the dark damage. So that's why he's provoking all of the dark damage for us. Um, the single target. And then the the AoE is gonna be handled by Elena. Our um, damage dealers have basically the same same type of gear, except we also have Ravenheart on, on Kator for uh, Demon Killer. So we've got Demon and Human Killer, LB damage, True Dual Wheels, all the normal stuff. Um, has hateful agent. You don't need it. It's not. It's just there. You know, whatever. Same vision card as before. And Reagan again, basically the same build. Um, just you know, changed out some man killer, um, so we can have human and demon killer. Um, we're still lacking LB damage. You know, we could easily fix that up um, if we really wanted to. You know, we can put some um, put some more LB damage on here. Uh, LB damage. Here we go. Anything with LB damage. Prodigious Performer, why not? There you go, LB damage. So we'll do a little, little more damage here. Um, and we're ready, we're gonna go straight into it. Very easy, three turns, we're gonna get this thing done. Alrighty, so um, because we have it, our Veritas of the Dark is gonna use Light Breaker here, convert those 80% breaks into 85% breaks. We've also now got a Light Imperil on the boss. Um, our Elena is going to shift, and she is going to use first um, Shining Northern Lights to give everybody light, and then she's going to use Crystal Refragmentation, which gives everybody 100% dark resist, um, and so that is good. Hold on a second. Yes. Uh, crystal Refrag. So now we're immune to the dark damage um, for the whole fight. We're done. Um, so, very straightforward here. Um, our Reagan is just going to use Sever Fate, two Octa Strike Blades. Kator is going to use uh, White Thunder ready for launch and two AMOEs. You know, they're going to chain together, of course. Do a little bit of chaining. All right. 
Doesn't look that impressive yet. But remember, we only got to get to 49%. There's Veritas absorbing all the dark damage. Right? Our Elena is going to downshift. Here's where I said it didn't matter too much if you had, um, if you didn't have Lightbreaker, right? So she's going to use Speed of Light, and then she's going to use um, um, Crystal Refraction, which is going to do a 130 Light Imperil. Um, and then she's just going to use uh, Piercing Prism. This is going to put up a Sword Imperil for Reagan, and then just Blade of Salvation just to try and get some more LB Crystals, and we have a third action, so you know why wouldn't you do it, right? There you go. You could do one of two things here with Veritas of the Dark. You could just guard or do nothing. I'm actually going to go ahead and use Shadowy Punishment um, just because I want to try and get some more LB Crystals for Elena. Alright. And then Kator and Reagan, they're going to chain using their LBs. Nice. Literally. All right. Dark damage is absorbed. We take no damage from anything else. And we're pretty much ready to go. Elena did not get her LB, so that's a little bit sad. So we're going to try one more time to uh, fill up LB a little bit with Shadowy Punishment. Hopefully we get it. Didn't get it, so we're going to go without it. Um, Kator is going to use SLB. Reagan's going to use SLB. Um, what we were trying to do if you can swing it, um, is you can get a, a demon killer and human killer buff for the party, 150% to both, um, from Elena's uh, shift limit burst, but we didn't quite get it. It's okay. Um, so, you could do one of a couple different things. You could just, like, chain or not. Um, you know, we're gonna go ahead and use her as a chainer. And just kind of weave her into the other two. And uh, we only have to go another 19% health, so, you know, whatever. There you go. So whether you're chaining with Elena or using her SL or her shift limit burst to, to boost everybody up, you know, you're probably gonna get enough damage there. Only have to get to 49% and then Dark Rain flies away. Show our damage breakdown. Um, and you know, unsurprisingly, Reagan and Kator are you know, doing all the damage. Elena's just kind of chipping in. We didn't really gear her for doing anything. Veritas didn't really, not really geared for doing anything. So Reagan and Kator, there you go. Alrighty. Um, and that's it. You know, if, if you can string those together, you can definitely knock out both of these pretty easily and do your part to get as many of our community clears in as possible. Um, but hopefully that helps you understand how to kind of survive some of the damage and things like that. Um, and with that, we're done. And we're going to be looking forward to some news here about the game in a few hours. And I'm, uh, yeah, that's it. Go to bed. Everybody go to bed. Uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow for preppers, hopefully. Hopefully there's something to prepare for. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs>